I'm gonna start this video by giving the viewer, that means you, dumbass, some motivation. So listen up. It's actually better to be somewhat unattractive naturally, to experience ugly duckling syndrome. Because you endure the trials and tribulations of being unattractive and that, coupled with self-improvement, is the best of both worlds. You'll improve your physical attractiveness with ways that you'll learn by the end of this video and by experiencing both sides to life, you become more grateful and appreciative for your increased attractiveness. With that being said, let me briefly tell you my story and then we'll move on to the practical guide which will improve your physical attractiveness. And seriously, this is very important. When I was growing up, people used to say that I was cute, but I always thought I was pretty ugly. I was short, I had these adorable chubby cheeks, skinny fat, you know the deal. However, I always had a great positive mindset. That's what you're gonna learn in this video. I knew that all it would take to look better was effort. So after high school, I started putting some effort into my looks by lifting weights, doing some bits of optimization to my hair and my skin. And I'm going to be honest, almost straight away, people started treating me better. It was like I went from being invisible to most people to suddenly getting a lot more attention and quite positive attention. This made all of life better. Because think for a second about the positive feedback loop of improving your attractiveness. People treat you better. When you get treated better by other people, you feel more confident, more happy, more positive. This makes your life better and serves as a loop because confident, happy people are even more attractive. You're more likely to make friends, get invited to social experiences. You're more likely to get more tips in your job, get more opportunities. Let me remind you that this is not the result of being attractive. The specific word that we're using is improving attractiveness. Any improvements to your physical attractiveness will improve the rest of your life. And the overwhelming majority of us can make some simple improvements to our physical attractiveness and we could start today. The mentality of this is that there's lots of things about our looks that we can't change. You can't change any physical deformities that make you feel insecure. You can't change your height, you can't change your race, you can't change lots of things about you. But that's okay because there are some things that we can just devote our focus to which we can make improvements in. And for men, the biggest, most important thing is our body. And I'm not talking about dieting and doing cardio to get slim. I'm talking about resistance training to build a muscular aesthetic body. Your body is a symbol, a sign of how much work you've put into your self-improvement, how much intention you've put into pushing past the burn and how much you have invested into a healthy diet. Your body is the physical indicator of the amount of delayed gratification you have invested in. The entire world can see that. That's powerful. Quick side note, this is also why I don't trust any self-improvement YouTubers unless they are fit and muscular. If they haven't trained their body, they're missing a vital pillar of self-improvement. They're speaking about self-improvement for the sake of growing a self-improvement YouTube channel, not for the sake of providing real, authentic value to the audience. Building muscle and improving your body also makes your face look more attractive. Do not believe that incel black pill shit that you see online. Getting muscular will undoubtedly improve your face too. Your face looks more masculine and strong when you've got a muscular body and my theory is that the positive feedback loop of increased attractiveness also improves your testosterone because it makes sense. Increased attractiveness would probably mean that you'd get more girlfriends and dates in your life. That would increase your testosterone and increased testosterone would improve your face as well. Train hard with different styles of exercise. I like weightlifting and using the gymnastic rings. If you've been watching the clips of the gymnastic rings and thinking that that looks like a cool style of training, they seriously are. I've never been this strong or jacked before and I think that's due to the gymnastic rings training that I've been doing. Seriously fun style of training. A card will pop up on screen right now. Click on it to watch a 20 minute video on the gymnastic rings. Diet is extremely important in physical attractiveness. We used to say that you are what you eat and that was the correct sentence. The fitness industry is now essentially lying to you and saying it doesn't matter what you eat, it only matters how much you eat. That isn't exactly true. I would have to go into so much more detail, but if you can just blindly trust me, just 
stick to the unprocessed, low sugar, high fiber, high fat foods. It's those foods that will fill you up, keep you so satiated, keep you full of energy and feeling strong. And that in turn will lead to better performance in the gym, which will lead to better muscle and physical attractiveness. You of course can lose fat by going in a calorie deficit by whatever you eat, but don't trust the fitness industry. That is one of the worst ways to lose fat. There's no such thing as unhealthy food. I feel healthier than I've ever been before and I literally just had like a binge yesterday and I had the binge the night before and the night before I, had, I went to McDonald's three days in a row. For some reason taking pride in your appearance and wanting to improve it is seen as vain especially in our generation. If that's the case then I don't care I am vain and I suggest anyone watching this to be vain because the benefit of being a vain person who takes pride in their appearance is far better than someone who doesn't care about how they look. Take a look at yourself right now and be honest. What cannot be changed? Chances are you're overthinking about things that you can't change. Your skin color, your height, how something about you looks. If you can't change it, it isn't even worth having the thought in your head. Focus on what you can change. What can you make improvements on? As a guy, your body is the number one. Do not underestimate how important a muscular physique is in terms of physical attractiveness. Do not believe the, the media and the bullshit that you know women were saying that they prefer dad bods is not true. The girls who say that they prefer dad bods are the ones who like the muscular bodies the most, from my experience. When you build up some muscle, you'll find the same thing, that those are the girls who stare at your muscles the most and look with lust. <laughs> If you want to see more videos from a somewhat unconventional small YouTuber, then turn on the post notifications right now. Finally, here's my most viewed video on my channel. It's a guide on building an aesthetic body. It's one of the first videos I made. And if you've watched this far of this one, it's going to be something that you're interested in. So click on the little rectangle right now.